in my last video we could watch how to drill the pieces I need to make this self-supporting wooden circle. It is the same joints system we could see when I made Leonardo da Vinci's self-supporting bridge. And because it will be very difficult to put together all the pieces at once, I will make it in four parts. And then I will put together those parts. I must make sure the notches fit around the horizontal pieces. And I must keep an order. Then these ones go in the outside, these ones in the middle, and these ones in the inside. So now these ones go once again in the outside. And I keep with the same order. Then Next ones go in the middle. And like this I finish the first part of the circle. Now I must watch where would I put the next pieces. I have the ones in the outside, the ones in the middle, and I would put the next ones in the inside. Then I will begin the next part of the circle with two inside pieces. But first, to make sure this part don't disassemble when I move it, I will put some painter's tape around the joints. Ok, this is enough to keep all the pieces together. Now I put together the pieces to make the second part, and I begin with two pieces in the inside. I watch how to begin the third part of the wooden circle. I put painter's tape in the joints. And I put together the pieces to make the third part. and the fourth part of this wooden circle. Just out of curiosity, this is a new painter's tape roll. And this is all I have left after using it around all the joints. And now I just have to fit together all the parts of the wooden circle. Now I have made 18 short pieces, the vertical ones here. And if I use those 18 short pieces, these pieces are in the inside, these ones in the middle, and these ones would coincide in the outside, but I would get a loose circle. So I made another short piece, and I also had to put another two long pieces. Then I must open the circle so everything fits under pressure, and that pressure will keep all the pieces together. And I must force the pieces to fit. The problem is that now the new pieces are not in the position they should be. This piece here it is in the outside, but here I have to put it in the middle. And this one here it is in the middle, and here it is in the outside. Well, the important is that all the pieces in the wooden circle fit under pressure. So I relocate some pieces and I can get rid of the painter's tape.
Okay, I already know you are waiting for this. Thanks for watching. You can find a link in the description to watch how I made the pieces. You can also find all my woodworking videos in my channel. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.